All right, family, I want to talk about toxic relationships because I feel like we've all been in one before or like maybe we might be in one right now. And so I think it's super important to talk about this because this is, to me, I've noticed this is more of like a generational thing. Like you'll come to find that if you've been in a toxic relationship, if you look at your parents' relationship or if you look at the people in your life, like in your family's relationships, like aunts and uncles and stuff, you might find that there's a certain pattern that is going on that is from a family wound, like, you know what I'm saying, ancestral wounds that are carrying on in the family. And so that's what I've noticed, that's a big pattern that usually people that get in toxic relationships, their reflections, like, in their home are also toxic, obviously, right? Because toxic attracts toxic. And and this doesn't mean, like, get it out of your head, like, if somebody's toxic, that doesn't mean that they're fucking evil or that they're, like legit like toxic for life or you know like like it's not that it's just that when somebody is being toxic or when somebody's experiencing or embodying toxicity it's again it's just like wounds that haven't been healed it's um you know when you're unconscious or you play that you're unconscious over a certain um, aspect of yourself a darker aspect of yourself that hasn't been seen heard loved um take taken care of or has been pushed aside right and so when you're in a toxic relationship it's important to note that toxicity attracts toxicity wounds attract wounds so there's you know because again you come to find that people blame each other in toxic relationships it's always just someone blaming the other person for their projection their triggers their hurt their pain and so, and then that other person feeds it more or pokes at it more, whether they're doing this intentionally or not, whether they, you get me, they could say it as a joke or they continue to bring it up or things like that. And But it's back and forth. It's not one side is, has more reasoning than the other, because if you stay in a toxic relationship, that says a lot about that person, even if that person is like telling a story from the like from their perspective and it seems like that other person's at fault but if that person stays that says a, a lot about that person too and this isn't to feel like shitty or like to say people are like dumb or nothing like that right like it's not it's not about that this is why it's so important to talk about these things because there's so much negative connotations and like attachments to like toxic and like triggers and like it's all truth that's all it is like it's all revelations that's all it is it's just revealing aspects of self and of life and of your family and things that need to be healed and things that and also sometimes it's not even that you need to heal that like it's the fact that you've taken it on from your family so it's like and then you've like made it yours if that makes sense so there's just so many layers that come with it and so and you know and and this is the thing letting go of a toxic relationship is like one of the hardest fucking things to release like it doesn't matter how many people tell you. It doesn't matter, like, if you even see it yourself. But that attachment that keeps people in these cycles, it's, it's because you know that this person also doesn't want to let you go. And that's the thing that makes it so toxic. It's like, I know I'm swinging this word around so much, but just bear with me. Um, but because you know that this person also doesn't want to leave you. And you don't want to leave that person. So all you do so. It, because you know that this person doesn't want to leave and you don't want to leave and that person knows that you also don't want to leave. It's like, then that means I could do whatever the fuck I want and say whatever the fuck I want to this person. And, and so you project and you project and you give and you say and you blah, 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 blah you know what I'm saying? Like, so, and, and that's why it's so toxic because it's just like, neither party wants to leave because they're so damn comfortable and... And, and that is it's false comfort though because it's the comfort that that because you grew up like that perhaps or those are the relationships that you saw all the time so that's like you had to adapt and it became a part of you and so now that like you get me and it just like bleeds on into the rest of your relationships and friendships and and this can also be with friends this doesn't just have to be with a romantic partner this could be with friends um because you see how you, however you are in one part of your life, you're like that in every part of your life. The way you do your business, the way you interact with others, the way you connect with others is, it, it's the same thing. And and it's different in different aspects of your life, but it's like the same energy being played out in other areas of your life. A lot of people that, um, not always, but a lot of times, the people that are in toxic relationships 
have friends that also are resemble that toxicity or maybe not right because you know what i'm saying like there's friends that are out here like no like i truly see what's going on here but you just don't see it and that's the thing because just like dolo says nobody can make you aware you have to become aware yourself you know what i'm saying and that's what it talk that's why like toxic relationships are one of the biggest most profound ways to learn about yourself um because whenever you make a true change it's because you decide to fully take control of that um you get me and so <clears throat> sorry i lost my train of thought so i'm trying to like blabber to come reach come back to it <laughs> but anyway um but long story short what i'm saying is letting go of these relationships are one of the most challenging yet life-changing decisions or moments in your life where and and here's the thing just because you feel like you want to let go of someone but and it's also about why like you get me like both parties are sub are meant to learn from themselves you know like reflection reflection like oh my gosh okay i see this in me you know i see this in me instead of like blaming that person it's like okay what what let me hear it though like what's really going on here you know, because we tend to attract partners that resemble our parents, like, not like physically, obviously gross, but like the, the way they treat us is kind of like the way we choose our partners whenever we're not as aware, right? Again, because it's about comfortability. It's about you had to find security in the way you were raised or in the way that, you know, you saw other relationships find their security. It's like, again, because as children, we're observing, we're learning, we're growing, we're intaking. And so these kind of become our patterns by default sometimes, you know what I'm saying? But obviously there comes a point in your life where you're just like, okay, like, what is really going on here? What is really going on here? And so if you're in a toxic relationship and it's really hard for you to let go because, I mean, again, like, it's so easy to tell someone to let go of a relationship where your friends can tell you or your family can tell you, but it's it's up to you to fully take that initiative to be like, what is this relationship really? Why is that bond so hard? And I hear a lot of the times, and it happened to me too, like, well, it's because this person makes me feel like what I've never felt. But what does that come with? At what price? You know, what price? Are, and, and you'll find that a lot of people, the ones that actually, like, are the, the ones that, like, know they need to leave, but they don't, it could be both of them or just one, are the ones that don't have strong boundaries. Um, you'll find that there's not a lot of strong boundaries in r toxic relationships. Either one party is taking advantage of those boundaries or... <clears throat> you get me or um the other party is just like giving or the other person is giving so much more than that other person like there's always an imbalance of some like there's a big imbalance of give and take take and give you know and so again so if you are in a toxic relationship i get that like it's so fucking hard to let go you know what i'm saying and it's only up to you when you begin if you it's up to that person to want that change because that other person's not willing to change and that other person's not meeting you halfway and but you're becoming aware of these things and you're the one that's like trying to you feel like you're always the one having to change for that person because it's always like you're the one that's in the wrong you're the one that's you know because again like <clears throat> these are the people that are like more like and i don't want to label people but just for an understanding it's like these are the people that are more like people pleasers that feel like you need to give everything to be in a relationship and shit. And then, um, but that's obviously not the case because that's not, <laughs> that's not healthy and, and that's not even spiritually like, um, you know what I'm saying? That's not really being like in your power. So, so like I say, like, it's important that if you're in a toxic relationship to set strong boundaries, the moment you begin to focus on yourself, like, stay in the relationship whatever because again you're up it's up to that person i've been there it's up to you to be like to find and it's one of the scariest things to do because it's letting go of and that's why it's deeper it's not even the person it's more about having fear over letting go of this part of you you're so comfortable with this part of you that you you've literally this defense mechanism this way you've been living with yourself for so long and that's why it's so hard to let go because it's like you're having to put death to that part of you and it's like you're clinging on to those parts of you 
that used to once protect you but now it's just causing and it's attracting all this other bullshit but it's always your responsibility it's always our responsibility so it's not even to ever blame that partner that you attracted it's you it's always everything i always say this everything always goes back to you it goes back to me everything 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 like everything is about you and that's in the most selfless way you know what i'm saying and so um so like I'm saying, like it's about redirecting your energy. If you are with someone toxic and it's hard and you don't want to put this death to yourself like by letting this person go because that person resembles that energy in the physical form, it's important that you redirect your energy to yourself. Like, okay, like, all right, well, I'm just going to stay, but I'm going to focus on me. I'm going to do what I need to do for me in this relationship. I'm going to set the boundaries that I need. And, be, and, you know, people that are stubborn in those relationships use that stubbornness to set your boundaries, to say this is... I'm going to focus on me and be stubborn with that instead as opposed to because you can make any negative energy work for you. Even anger, you know what I'm saying? Even jealousy. You can learn how to be more confident in yourself by um, alchemizing that jealousy into self-security. Like, I'm never going to let anything have me feeling like this ever again kind of thing. But not like to where you create a certain blockage or not a certain part of you, but that's that's a whole nother topic. But what I'm saying is focus on yourself and I promise you what's meant to fall away will fall away naturally. Focus on yourself. Show yourself that you want to change. Don't show that person. Don't do it for that person. Don't do it for, you know, do it for you. Do that for you. Set your boundaries for you and be stubborn as fuck with it. Be stubborn as fuck with your boundaries and with yourself, with your time for yourself. You know, <clears throat> learn to detach and, and be in your space with yourself. And in that space, you will begin to find peace. Whatever you seek in this other person that you feel this person's giving you, you give that to yourself first so you don't seek that in that you could do that in this relationship or whenever if you do let this person go but i'm mainly talking about for those that are just feel like like they can't like you know what i'm saying um put that all that energy to yourself focus on yourself with whatever pain you're feeling with whatever it is you know what i'm saying if that person's constantly ringing you constantly like being super attached to you Learn to begin to detach in the sense of for yourself, you know, like, again, be stubborn with yourself, with your energy, draw the line, set a middle. And if that, and again, that person or that, that energy that isn't going to match that is going to naturally fall away in its own way. You get me? Things are going to play out the way they're going to play out anyway. You know what I'm saying? So, um. So yeah, guys, because I truly get it. Like, it's easy to tell someone to let a relationship go, even if you see it yourself. But it's so much deeper. The wound, the trauma is just so much deeper than what it is. So if you are in it, you know, because it's not even about the person. It's not. But we believe it is. It's deeper. It's always about you. And it's not to blame. Because you attract what you attract. And... You know, and, and if something doesn't resonate anymore, you know what I'm saying? Because you can attract what you attract, but then there could come a time where you outgrow it, you know what I'm saying, or whatever. And it's okay to, it's okay to outgrow, you know what I'm saying? We've been raised in a society where you're like, like, true love is if you stay with this person and you commit to the end, yeah. But like, at the same time, true love is loving yourself. That's true love. So if you don't love yourself, whatever you think is true love is, is a whole nother thing. It could be a whole nother fucking other energy. It could be a whole nother entity. And, you know, um, it's way deeper, you know, um, because you have to love yourself first. And whenever you don't choose yourself, another spirit's going to choose them over you all the time. And so, you know, and it's super important. And again, it's not to shame or bash you or 
I've been there, like, you get me, or everyone's been there, you get me, or everyone is there, or whatever, like, not everyone, but, but it's, so we can begin to talk about these things, it's okay to talk about these things, it's okay to express these things without having all these negative attachments connected to toxic relationships and all these other things, you know what I'm saying, so, um, yeah guys so that's what what i really want to talk about because we are going through this time where it's about releasing and it really just like i started thinking about like wow like it's really how does someone really release somebody that's not good for them you know or you're not good for them either you get me and that's the thing whenever you guys separate like that's the thing the sooner you like realize because you can't like here's the thing it can't work out if you both are like whoa if you're both spiritually inclined like okay whoa like i see what's going on you're not the one at fault here like i'm the one at fault and you're also the one at fault for your own things like let's work with that i truly believe that can happen but it takes two to tango it has to be both of you have to become aware and agree on your wrongs or agree on your not even wrongs but agree on your own pain acknowledge your own pain you know but if it's if it's in balance there then yeah letting go is probably the best thing to do because you'll find that you'll manifest much more like it's like it's so interesting like the moment like if that person is just like you know if you just know you have to let go and you do like I'm telling you, I can't tell you how many times I've heard and I also experienced the bemoorings, the abundance actually you get from that. Both parties, it's not just you. The person you let go of gets the best, like, like you're giving them a chance to truly, like, heal and truly be free and truly you get me because sometimes that person's not meant to heal with you, but because you let that person go, that person's like, oh my gosh, like, I am so, like, they become aware, you get me? I mean, because that happened to me too. So it's like, whoa, like I'm so grateful for all heartbreaks. You know, all heartbreaks are the greatest teachers of life. Um, you get me? Because it's reflections. It's all reflections, you know? And so that's why it's just so magical, guys. Like it can be the most scariest thing. But whenever you choose you, whenever you choose you in friendships, relationships, in life, you can never go wrong. You will never be, you'll never, like, I'm telling you, you'll never, I'm fucking, like, telling you, you'll never, <laughs> it's just, like, I'm at loss for words because every time you choose yourself out of self-love for yourself, which means, aka, for that person, for others, like, the, the path, that, like, the things you're gonna manifest, and not just, it's not even about what you manifest, but just, like, the internal peace, the internal epiphanies, the shift, the person you become after that is, like the most rewarding the most it's like it's like you know what like you just don't regret a thing you're just like wow it all makes sense it all makes sense and you finally feel like your true self you can finally walk as your higher self you can finally step into your path your destiny that you created your purpose for yourself and it goes beyond that because remember guys this is so temporary it's about your spirit your spirit is able to break out of fucking hell out of jail out of mental jail out of like you know and your spirit is able to travel to create to move on move on from this reality move on from from just because again these things never go away you can never escape yourself so but it's a process it's a journey it's hard it's challenging um sometimes the planets have to come in and do shit for you sometimes the universe has to come in and cause a fucking train wreck in your life for you to wake up and so but even in those moments it's all purpose it's all meant to be but you know what i've come to realize is that sometimes you don't have to wait till that train wreck comes sometimes you can be in that fuck you could be driving the train as instead of letting it somebody else or something else uh, ride that train for you and just clash into your life you know because when you do things for yourself first when you like take that initiative again like you won't have to go through as like like it won't be as hard to move on it won't be as hard to break through it won't be as hard guys and even though it doesn't like it doesn't like 
you're probably like, wait, that doesn't make sense. If I let that person go, that shit's going to fucking hurt more than anything. Yeah, but if something else has to come in to disrupt that and to take that person away or vice versa, you're going to have to, more than likely, I'm not, I don't want to say that you are, but more than likely, it's going to be much harder, much, much harder. It's going to hurt much, much worse. You know what I'm saying? But, but maybe not. Again, it's, it's just really up to the individual but the main message of this video is to acknowledge the fact that it's not about blaming anybody. Whether you're in a toxic relationship or you were or whatnot or whatever. Like, it's about you. Everything's about you. Your relationships, your friendships, it's all about you. And people could think that's egotistical or whatnot, but no, it truly fucking is. Everything points back to you. Everything. And so... That's why the people in your life are divine reflections of you. So it's not even to play the blame game. But again, when you up level, when you change, when you upgrade, and those that want to stay are going to stay. And those that, and you can either match their frequency and stay, or you can literally set yourself free and live the life you always dreamed, you know, with the things you do deserve. But if, again, like, you're always going to get what you deserve. I don't believe in luck. I don't believe in things of those things or coincidences. Things are orchestrated due to your choices and your energy and your vibration. So if you are in a toxic relationship and it's really hard to let go, at least acknowledge yourself, focus back on yourself and set your boundaries and everything else will um, manifest the way it's meant to. Everything else is going to play out. The truth is going to play out. The truth will play out and it's and there's and it's meant to be you know but this is to give you the opportunity you know to do what needs to be done when you have the t the time and the opportunity to and um and you're it, it's deeper guys it's never about that person it's never about the people in your life it's about you and that is the most beautiful thing to know that it's always about you and we're all beautiful, guys. Even that person that, you know what I'm saying, could be going through so much. Like it's, but the thing is, like people have to heal on their own. Like, like not that they can't ask for help. That's not what I'm saying. But you get me. People have to acknowledge their own self. They have to become aware of their own spirit. They have to become aware of their own path and their own pain and their own trauma to then help them. You know what I'm saying? Um, or to get help themselves but just simply sometimes you being the change is what helps them because when you don't feed something it dies and things have to die like there's just no way around it but that doesn't mean that you're that it's gone forever no things that die get rebirthed but things that but it doesn't mean you start over entirely you know, you take those things with you wherever you go. Just like if you want to, like, you don't like where you live and whatever because of all of these other reasons. But if it's because you don't have inner peace within yourself, you're going to take that wherever you go. It doesn't matter. You know, we all know these things. Again, these are very... But we need to consistently remind ourselves all the time because we're all being psychically attacked in some way, shape, or form. We're always, like, battling darker aspects of self and whatnot so it's like you're not even battling but that's what i'm saying turning battles into like it's not about fighting yourself in a way it's about facing yourself facing yourself battling and facing are in two entirely different things and so again it's important to take that step forward to face yourself like what really is this what really is this? And learn while you are in these toxic things. Not run from them, but learn from them. Learn about yourself in them, you know, and look at the patterns in your life and look at your family in your life. What do they reflect about you? And what do they not reflect about you? Or what are you tired? Are you ready to look at a new picture, a new mirror? You get me? Your own mirror, your own picture. And so, yeah, guys, like, that's just, you know, I've been really wanting to talk about that. So, um... I hope this helped in any way, um, just so we can again begin to like dismantle all these like negative attachments to toxicity itself, because to me it's more about help, it's more about healing than it is about like blaming or about like, you know, yeah, just one-sided shit, it's, there's, like, we're multi-dimensional beings, so there's more than one side to everything. <laughs>